So this is border match, basically match points. And very first board out, so diamond by our partner, two spades by east, we will make a negative double, I think. I kind of want to double two spades. Maybe that's crazy. Maybe I don't want to double two spades. I mean, <laughs> go after two spades for a penalty. That's what I mean. Um, yeah, it's probably not worth it. So we'll make the negative double. Three diamonds by our partner. Uh, interesting. So what shape do we think our partner has then? Our partner could have two, three, four, four. It's possible. Would they bid three diamonds with that shape? I don't think so. I, I would bid three clubs. They could be one, three, five, four. I'm just thinking because um, the bid I want to make is three spades. If partner has what looks like, a, like if partner has queen double ten of spades, I definitely want them playing the no trump. But I don't think partner's ever gonna bid three now with queen doubleton, so maybe it's maybe it's a fruitless endeavor there. The other thought is that maybe we could be on for a diamond slam. If partner has like ace queen fifth of diamonds. The king of clubs and the king of hearts, I mean, that's only a 12 count with a singleton spade. We're, I mean, we're not there yet. But we are getting close. It might be a bit too risky. I'll, I'll just, I'll bid three now and deal with the consequences. This should make. Yeah, you know, I should be able to isolate the spades in east sand and then take diamond hooks through west. Queen double to the spades, there it is. <clears throat> well. And we do have a heart problem. I would expect the diamond queen to be on side, so we should be okay. To make our game just by taking diamond hooks. So if I get five diamonds and I get two clubs and I get a heart and a spade, how can I take more tricks? I suppose if West has five clubs, I might be able to squeeze them in the round suits. Or, you know, maybe better said, um, East has the spade guard, West has the heart guard. So there's probably some sort of double squeeze available if they don't remove my entries in the proper way. This all relies on bringing the diamonds home, but hopefully we can do that. So I think our plan is going to be to try and duck three tricks to rectify the count. 
Hello. Okay. Well, that is different. <laughs> A diamond, two spades, negative double. West, of course, didn't feel comfortable coming in with seven solid hearts missing the ace. Wow. Does that change anything? Because now, I mean, it might be even right to try and just take the club hook. Hmm. So East has to have a four card minor, right? I mean, is there any chance that East has seven spades for this two spade bid? It does say six plus. It feels like a terrible choice if they have seven spades with a heart void to only preempt at the two level. So I had a plan and now my plan is less clear. If East four card minor is diamonds, then they're very likely to hold the diamond queen. If East four card minor is clubs, wow. I mean, I have a crazy idea. What if the right line is to win the Ace of Hearts? Cross and diamonds, unblocking the jack, take a club hook, unblock the club ace. Play a diamond to the king, cash the king of clubs, and exit to east, who will have to lead a spade away from the king. There's no way that's the right line. I mean, for one thing, I win the ace of hearts, I play a diamond to the ace, a club to the jack, west wins and caches six heart tricks. I think that's a bit too much. Maybe we go back to this plan of trying for the double squeeze. Play east to hopefully be something like six, um, zero, three, four. They're certainly more likely to have four clubs than four diamonds, given our shapes. Queen of diamonds, doubleton in the pocket. I believe I like that line better, so let's give this a try. King of hearts holds. Queen of hearts continuation. You know, the lack of a spade switch makes me think that um, that the diamond queen is probably on side. Otherwise, West could set up East spades. You know, they, there's no real reason for West to continue playing hearts if, since they have no entry. So what was my original plan? Duck three tricks and then run the diamond suit, presumably squeezing both players in their respective major suits. I think I'm gonna go with that still. Do 
Diamond discard makes me pretty happy. I think this line of play is going to work. Spade. We will duck this trick as well. Club discard from West. Oh no! Really? East was six, five. Oh, that is, that is gross. Well, that's a problem. So, I mean, we could have won the Ace of Hearts at any point and just run the Jack of Diamonds. Okay. Well, this is kind of awkward and unfortunate. Okay, give me one minute. I'm going to run to the restroom. BRB. All right, I am back. And I believe that our decisions probably don't matter anymore on this board. I expect our counterpart at the other table to just win the Ace of Hearts and run the Jack of Diamonds at trick two. Finding out about the bad split, they'll end up going down one. And I don't think we can do better than to just cash out all of our tricks from here. Uh, I mean, I, I guess I can, I can win the diamond ace, go king of clubs, club to the ace, ace of hearts, and exit a spade, east gets unplayed, but we're still down two, but I do think that's the best we can do from here. The double squeeze line looked pretty good, but east just was 6-5. all your spades. Down two. Well, that did not go as planned. West is 7-5, East is 6-5. The opponents couldn't do more than bid two spades. Do they make anything? Probably not. There's no entry to the East hand to lead clubs up. Otherwise, you could get away with two club losers. Well, so that's probably a loss, but I think we took the right line. Board two, pass by east, we will open a club. A diamond, a heart. I could bid four diamonds, not crazy. Our hand definitely has the playing strength to play in game. So... The question is, do I really want to alert the opponents to my splinter on the way there? I think so. We could have a slam. You know, West could have a reasonable one diamond over call, ace, king, fifth, or something, and partner just has the rest of the cards. We may as well look for slam. Partner bids key card. That looks good to us. We have three. Partner asks for the Trump Queen. We don't have it. 
So I hope this doesn't get passed. Yeah, partner was looking for the Trump queen for a grand. So that's good news. Maybe, maybe that's good news. <laughs> we'll see. We're, I mean, this is a, this looks like an excellent grand slam. If spades are 3-3, three, three, I, I mean, we're gonna need the hearts to break in some sensible manner, but if queen third of hearts is on side, possible given the, the one diamond overcall. I mean, west might overcall with king, queen, jack, fifth, or king, queen, jack, sixth, um, but they might need some extra values to do so. And even if the heart queen is not on side, as long as the trumps split, we can rough two diamonds in the dummy, uh, play for three three spades or the club finesse. Um, yeah, if the two of hearts was the queen, then seven hearts would be a great spot. So let's see, diamond to the jack, it does look like king, queen, jack. It's also starting to sound as if West probably has one of the round suit queens, so we might be making either five hearts or seven hearts on this hand. Although, if I'm right about that, how do we feel about running the jack of hearts? I mean, West could have both queens. Okay, West could have both queens, which is totally fair. Um, yeah, I was going to say, if West was absolutely 100% marked with one of the round suit queens, what if we run the jack of hearts? If it loses, then East has the club queen. <laughs> I don't think we're going to do that, though. So I believe the line of play is diamond rough, heart to the jack. How about now, Brad? Do you still subscribe to running the Jack of Hearts? Hmm. It seems like hearts are probably 4-1. Okay, let's rough the diamond. And play the king of hearts just to take a look. Hearts are not 4-1. Okay, that's good news. I wasn't paying attention to the spade spots. Are they splitting? Can someone let me know? It's only an over trick. I, I, I say this because it's, uh, oh, spades are not breaking. It's match points. So, but I have a count on East's hand, right? East has, just one more club. It looks like the club queen is offside. Um, but East has turned up with five spades, three hearts, three diamonds, and two clubs. All right, 1430, we'll take it. In fact, West did have both round suit queens. Running the Jack of Hearts would not have been the play. Good to note. So that was a nice board. I don't know if we would get there regardless. Maybe we get there regardless of what our choices are, but the four diamond splinter definitely helps partner evaluate. We have 22 here. I'm just terrified of opening two clubs <laughs> with the robot. I guess I'll do it. Please don't make a positive response, thank you. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> you don't wanna do this, do you? 
No, 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 no. You, you definitely don't want to come in red-white. Not against me. Is double penalty. Double is takeout? Why is double takeout? What I've learned from the robot system is when it says a bid is forcing, that doesn't mean that you're allowed to double the opponents. That just means that you're forced to bid again. So it looks like two hearts is just a free psych that they have. There's a giant flaw in the robot system. Hmm. Well, that's kind of awkward. You don't want to give the opponents free psychs. Okay, well, in that case, if I can't go after two hearts, should I pass anyway just to see if partner reopens double? Is it even good? I mean, what if I only get 200? We get two spades, three hearts, the diamond, and like one other trick. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That would still be 500. I really want to double this. So let's try passing. Come on, pard. You can do this. Three diamonds. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> I think we figured out the solution. <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> we did it. Somehow we're defending three hearts doubled. <laughs> All right. I'm not even worried. Like, if we missed a slam, which it doesn't look like we did, I think we're still fine. So, ace of spades lead, king of spades. Like, what were the robots trying to do? Were they trying to, um, to find a game their way after I had opened two clubs? Two hearts, three diamonds. Very nice. Queen, Jack, 10, 9. Whoa. Probably a singleton diamond. Let's, uh... Hey, Dr. Dogman, thank you for the $20 donation to charity, to the Brain and Behavior Research Foundation, uh, we did hit a milestone goal. <laughs> Let me finish out the hand, and then I will do the 100, well, I'll do part of the $100 milestone goal. I had set it up for 100 push-ups, but I did make the caveat that maybe I'm not going to do these all at once, but we'll see how far I can get. Um, I will do them over the course of the stream today, for sure. Um, Queen of Clubs switch, I think. Heart. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's totally fine. King of Clubs. You ate a hundred orange sherbet push-ups, kind of the same thing. I, I guess there was a comma there. You ate 100 orange sherbets, and push-ups are kind of the same thing. Yeah, you're right about that. King of clubs. So what's partner's shape? Partner is like... Three? Let's suppose partner only has three hearts. If they're three, three, 
four, three. I pitch a diamond here. And if they're three, four, four, two, they're also just roughing this. So let's pitch a diamond. Oh. I don't remember the orange sherbet push ups from elementary school. No. No, I have no idea what those are. So, first question were we making four spades? I mean, it doesn't matter. We got 500. We're content with our result, but I kind of wanted to double two hearts. That was what I was playing for. So did I have the right idea? I mean, East two heart bid is insane. We lose. Oh, we can't even rough a heart in the dummy. I mean, we can, but it comes at the cost of them roughing our king of hearts. So we end up losing two clubs, we lose two diamonds. Yeah, we're not even close to making a game. The opponents just offered us plus 200 against what they were getting a plus score, and then they end up bidding more to get give us 500. We'll take it. Probably a pretty good round two. Okay, push-ups. I wonder if I can still play bridge after this. A club by West, two diamonds weak, Yeah, we'll, we'll get to 100. Don't worry. It's just going to take a few hands. I need to recover. Um, but thank you so much for the donation, Dr. Dogman. Also great username. Club, two diamonds, three clubs. Um... You'll be watching. Don't worry, it'll they'll happen soon. I just I do need a bit of a quick break. So we're at 25. Maybe I should add a push-up counter to stream. Uh No, I'll everyone will remember. We're at 25 right now. Club, two diamonds, three clubs. If I was playing against better opponents, I think I would just pass. Because three diamonds feels like it's often going to be going for 200 if they double. And that's a scary spot to be in at board a match. But I will... I guess I will compete to three diamonds. We, we do have a diamond fit. King, queen of hearts, king, queen of spades are probably worth a trick each, maybe. Orange sherbet push-ups are not push-ups, they're like popsicles. Got it. Well, this bid is awful. I kind of want to double them now, <laughs> but I always want to double them. Everyone knows I always want to double them. Wild. Now I'm t a little terrified. Because I think three clubs is going to pass out, and now they're now they're in a game. If I get two trump tricks, we get a diamond trick, and I get a spade trick, they're going to go down. How good is starting with Sneko Eye and Silent? It's probably not great. I mean, it's fine, but you're gonna be really weak for a while. 
Um, so you need to find like eviscerate, predator. Bouncing flask is probably not good enough. You probably want attacks with Sneko Ice Island, at least for a while. I mean, Wraith Form would be a huge pickup, of course. Thousand Cuts is probably okay. I'm gonna double. I think we're in trouble if this makes. That's the only real concern that I have. Okay. Club switch. Club switch is not the play part. We need a spade switch. It's probably fine. I, I think I have a spade trick and two heart tricks. Should I try and give partner club rough? So what happens if If Declare has the King Queen of Diamonds. No, I, I still have a spade trick. I can try and give partner club rough. I don't think this is happening. Oh, hello. Spade? Wow, Jack of Spades. Declare has made a pretty big mess of this hand. Ooh, spades were 4 1. Wow, just down one. That's kind of crazy. Was Declare just cold for this if they played Ace of Hearts Heart? They were. Declare was just cold for four hearts if they went Ace of Hearts Heart. But. My double scared them into thinking trumps were 4 1. Not that unreasonable then, the line of play they took. I, I suppose it's pretty bad. I mean, north with five spades and six diamonds probably wouldn't, uh, probably wouldn't be overcalling two diamonds. They might try a diamond or a spade even. Bane with no poison? Yeah, I think you're screwed. <laughs> uh, I mean, Sneko's like a great relic, but it, uh, it does require you to take a bunch of high cost cards to make it worthwhile. Okay, one more hand in. Let's do some more push-ups. Okay, back to some bridge. Well, at this rate, we're going to double them and make it on the next board, and that's also going to cost me another 25 push-ups. Two spades east. Partner's a passed hand. I'm just going to pass. You got it. Two spades. Um, opening lead? I think I'm gonna lead clubs. Every suit's a little scary to lead. I mean, the most passive lead I can make is probably like a middle spade, like 10 of spades. But I think I wanna be a little aggressive. I have a bunch of high cards. West probably has some stuff sitting behind me. You know, king jack of hearts maybe. Diamonds is less likely to set up tricks, so I think that's why I'm going with a club. Seven, two, ace. Okay, not best. Diamond to the king, five, small. Jack of clubs. Yep.
Well, a diamond lead wouldn't have worked. Ace, 10, 8, declare having king third. That would not have helped. It looks like I can go ace of hearts, heart to the king before doing anything else. Partner can play back diamonds, but Declare does have their queen of clubs set up to pitch. And with hearts splitting, Declare was always going to be able to set things up. We can't ever lead diamonds from our side. I mean, partner can lead diamonds once, but then we can never lead diamonds again. And if we ever switch to clubs, they get to set up a club trick. I mean, maybe if I did really go ace of hearts heart and partner returned a spade, we would have some chance. But anyway, this seems fine. We'll go ace of hearts, heart to the king. Spade switch to the king and ace. Um, I guess I'll try and cash this. I, I, I know what's going on in the hand, so this is all fine. We're going to beat them a trick. They do get their discard on the club queen. Oh, I'm exhausted. I'm ready for a nap. Is anyone else ready for a nap? Down one. So I think we can beat it two if we really are double dummy in the defense. Heart, heart, spade, switch. Uh, one heart from east. Whew. We have 17. We have heart stoppers. I think we have to bid. You had Negril, also, also pretty close to a workout. So I'm going to come in with a no trump, I think. I have two hard stoppers. Whew. Five or more spades. Should I raise? King of hearts is worthless now. Um, still, I have a stiff club, we have a nine card spade fit. You did four hours running today. That's a lot. One of my friends that I go hiking with, he's an ultra marathon runner. So we always go on these like eight, nine, ten mile hikes, and by the end of it, I'm pretty tired, but he's just like, okay, see you later, I'm gonna go do like a 25 mile run, <laughs> just as like a cool down, um, which is crazy. So three spades, I think, is probably the value bid. If partner's really completely broke, like what if partner has five small spades and like the queen fourth of clubs and out. We lose a heart, we lose a spade, we lose a diamond, and depending on how the trumps split. Maybe I should just blast game. It probably makes often enough. And partner has supposedly suggested values. The hundo is fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my buddy has signed up to do a hundred somewhere, I think in like February or something, or March. Um, I think in California somewhere, I've, I'm not sure where it is. But he's crazy. Longest I've run is like eight miles at a time. So, well, I, I almost spot on called partner's hand, um, except they have six small spades. Uh, which is kind of cool. Five of hearts lead. Holy, wait, what? Hmm. Wow. Um...
So I'm gonna get two diamond discards for the clubs, right? Which means there's no real reason to not play the king here. But there's also no chance that East would ever lead away from the ace. Like, a human player might. I'm just worried, if I'm going down in this, right, if spades are 3-0, then I'm probably going down here. And then I might not actually have time to set up all the things I want. In which case, I might need the king of hearts as a discard. I guess I'll take the hook. West has the ace, a diamond to the ace, diamond return. Okay, how do spades break? Spades do not split well. Oh, that sucks. We got to a good spot. We got to a very good contract and the suit did not break. Okay, um, here, let's do this. After board 10, after board 10, I'll finish up my last 25 push-ups. I'm still recuperating. 11 count, aceless, my five card suit has no honors. I think I'm just gonna pass this one out, which is funny to say, given that I know it's gonna pass out since I'm in first seat, um, but, the robots do not open very many 11 counts, and we know that they're limited to 11 on here. Do we make anything? It looks like the answer is no. If I open a club, partner bids a heart. I bid a no trump, and things don't seem to split well. I mean, we have two spades and three diamonds and a club, but that might be about it. Feels like they're probably going to end up beating a no trump. Pass, pass a heart. We're going to bid Michaels. Pass two spades, three hearts. I should probably pass. My spade suit's so weak. Hmm. Four hearts, pass, pass. I think I'm going to lead the Ace of Clubs. So the question is, do I want to double this or not? I have three Aces. At Imps, I would auto-double this. Ace of Clubs Club, we might get multiple club roughs. Partner could easily have a natural trump trick, like King Third over there. Um... I don't think at board a match it's worthwhile to go after this. They might just be making. So that could cost us half a board. I mean, if I double and partner pulls to four spades, I like what's going on, but presumably partner had ways to preempt in spades if they wanted to over here and chose none of them. So let's just pass. Let's try and get partner some club roughs if possible. Looks like partner's not getting any club roughs. Chicken, you're right, you're right. I'm a chicken. Well, I think I need to play the Ace of Spades. The diamond suit is very threatening.
if east is 2, 7, no, they would be 2, 7, 3, 1, and yeah, I do have to play Ace of Spades. Is double at board match here mostly game theory or guessing the opponents? Not really. Um, oh, uh, maybe your question was either or. I, I guess I would lean it more towards the game theory side rather than guessing the opponents. But sometimes you know your opponents. Like if we're playing against Neckwell here and they just blast into a game like this, then we can probably feel pretty comfortable doubling them. But if you're playing against opponents that um, tend to have their bids most of the time, then... Um, it's a little scarier to double. All right, Pard, where is that Ace of Diamonds? You mean the other table? Other teams' actions in your seats. Um, oh, I see. So you're basically wondering is is it possible that um, other players are going to double? I, I think you presume that in doubling scenarios at board a match, if you don't, if it doesn't, if it looks like the contract might just make, then you um, you assume no double at the other table. Like here, we have three aces, but our partner showed zero values and might easily have zero values, we might only take our three aces, which is exactly what happened here. Um, we got our three aces, Declare got over to dummy and took a heart finesse, which I guess is anti-percentage, but given our, you know, Michael's bid, probably turns out to be the correct thing to do. Um, yeah, I, I would not expect to take more than three tricks most of the time. And so here, I'm presuming the other table's not doubling, which means I want to double only if I think we're beating at more than 50% to get some plus EV on my action. And here, I did not believe we were beating at more than 50% of the time. So that was why no double, and I was correct this time. Declare had to guess. I mean, they had to guess what was going on in hearts, but given the two suitor that I showed, they probably did the right thing. So we could win this board if the other table mistakenly doubles four hearts. Not an unreasonable action, but it doesn't work out here. We'll see at the end. Pass, pass, board nine. So two boards to go until my push-ups. I am keeping track. We have 15. It doesn't look like 15. But apparently this is 15. Let me count this again. <laughs> uh, we got seven and eight is 15. Okay, I believe it. White on red, I'll open a new trump. Transfer to spades. You survived up to floor 26 on the back of whetstoning two riddle with holes. <laughs> but now you're one HP heading into a super elite. Good luck. Oh, act two super elite? Act two super elites are rough. Well, I mean, I'm happy with how this ended up. We are not vulnerable playing border match and we found a spade fit and we're playing in two spades undoubled. We are going down a million. So Ace of Hearts, I think I'm going to feign Queen Jack Doubleton. I mean, the thing is, I have no control over any suit, so they're going to work out eventually to get their heart rough. But I think that's my plan. So I'll dump the Jack. Ace of Diamonds. Diamond. Oh, 
Oh, <laughs> they figured it out. That is unfortunate. Ace of clubs, heart rough. Yikes. <laughs> Down two. So the opponents probably make some sort of part score somewhere, but it's hard for them to get involved when we open a no trump. Board 10. And this is 16 boards. We're playing 32 in total in this match. So I haven't really been keeping track of how we've been doing. I expect to lose board one. I mean, boards three and four are probably wins, but maybe not. Board two could be a win. We'll see. Pass by East. We have a pretty good 19 count. I suppose I'm gonna open this two now. Is this a heads up match or day long? This is, here we go. It is a friendly challenge versus curling guy. This is for the um, Sandstorm Contenders knockout stage. So I think this is the round of eight quarterfinals of, I can pull it up again, this event. Um, so we played through a giant group stage a while back. We did not make it into the top bracket. Um, and so we're in the contenders bracket. And then a bunch of the first round matches were played. We had a bye into the second round. Um, and so this is where we stand. Did that say friendly? Oh, friend. Friend challenge. Friend challenge versus curling guy. Did I say friendly? I might have said friendly. It's a very friendly challenge. Two no trump all pass is not what we wanted to see. King of spades lead. Ooh. This is either, you swear you saw friendly notes. I, I might have said it, so that could have thrown you off. Um, this is either gonna be a really good result or not such a good result. Because if clubs split, we probably get a pretty good score on this. You open a diamond, it might pass out. The opponents might also find their spade fit, which, I don't know how that's going to play. I mean, we might get a diamond rough against some spade partial. So first question is, do I duck the opening spade lead? It gives them a chance to beat the contract if they find a heart switch and the jack is offside. But if they... I mean, West has some chance of switching to diamonds. I don't think it's a great chance, but it's possible. King, eight, two. I think West just continues spades most of the time. Just gonna win the ace. Let's not mess around. King of clubs, two, three, six. Uh huh. Well, this is probably not gonna be a great score then. <laughs> if if I do say so myself. Because now we're going minus multiple tricks. It's going to be minus two or 300. I suppose there's almost no reason to cash out. 
Just need queen, nine, doubleton, and diamonds. Yeah, I, I mean, I might just cash the ace king and then concede the rest of the tricks. If I exit a club, they run a bunch of spades. I have to make three discards for my hand, a hard and two diamonds. I mean, it's possible I get out for down two if everything works out. Like if the jack of hearts is on side and spades are five, four, Let's try the King of Diamonds. I mean, um, it's also possible I lose the rest of the tricks if I exit a club here. East discarded an encouraging heart on the second round of clubs. I don't know, let's try and get out for down two. Spade, you got it. Hello. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. I I suppose I have gotten out for down two. There's no way I can do better than this, right? I, I should just take this while I can. <laughs> what just happened? Queen of Diamonds into my King Jack. Um, What? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? I mean, I accept. <laughs> Down one, <laughs> we'll take it. Wow. That was not the best defense by our opponents on that one. Oh, it's, it's board 10. It's board 10. We gotta finish up our push-ups, okay. Back to bridge, 100 push-ups down. And we have another 11 count. This one I think is a little better. Ooh, real question. Should I open this one spade or two spades? At this format, I think I like a two spade opener. We have so many queens that Still out of breath. <laughs> Still out of breath. We'll get there. But because partner's limited to 11, and with all of our queens, I think it's very unlikely we make a game. So I'm happy to just preempt. Two spades pass, three spades I'll pass. Sure. Ace of hearts. Whew. Ace of hearts, not a very good lead. Spade switch, yeah. <sighs> well, what's the what's the play? Um I completely forgot what he's played at trick one. Was it encouraging? That looks encouraging. So it looks like the heart queen is offside. Uh, 
I think I'm gonna go Ace of Spades, Diamond to the Ace, Diamond Rough, King of Hearts. As long as that holds, I can rough a heart high, rough a diamond, rough a heart high, pull trumps, lose two clubs. What is that? Oh, we make our game? My bad. Then I guess this is my bad. But game isn't like an amazing contract. Definitely has play with the stiff diamond ups at our ace third. But like I said, our queens are mostly useless. We're making game because partner's 10 count, the king of hearts, fits very well with our seven count, the queen jack of spades and the ace of diamonds. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I think that's the play. It could be a stiff heart, in which case, I mean, maybe I'm supposed to do something like Well, I don't know what I'm supposed to do if it's a stiff heart. I could win the queen of spades and lead a heart. But then we have problems getting back to our hand. I can't, I can no longer rough two hearts high. Promotes the, uh, the eight of spades for the defense. Um, yeah, let's, let's just take this line of play. I think this is the right line. Hello. Well, that's an interesting card. That makes me think the hearts are actually not splitting. Huh. West switch to a singleton spade. I might be able to make them guess if I exit the Queen of Clubs. No, hold on, hold on. Is there like some legitimate thing I can do if East has like the Ace, Jack, 10, whatever in clubs? I can run my spades and my diamond. Yeah, maybe there's something I can do. If, if East has all of the ace jack, if East has the jack ton of clubs with one of the honors, I think we have a chance to like squeeze them somehow. Oh, okay. Ten of spades. Hearts were five two. Weird. Why is East pitching all of their hearts? So this might depend on what club honors there are. Because if West has a club ace and I go queen of diamonds, exit a club, then West just gets to win and run the diamond suit. We have to guess. I don't like guessing.
Would you used to really make the mistake of coming down to the stiff face of clubs here? I'm gonna say no. Because East could always unblock the, the ace, right? They should know from our quote unquote preempt that their partner has the, the club king. So they would never risk getting strip squeezed here. No way. No way. Why did they do that? They just need to unblock the club ace. Wow. What terrible defense. Hmm. That's a tough one to get right if you're not sitting at the table with someone. Sometimes defenders will give away that they've made a mistake in these end positions. Or they'll like shake their head or something. Oh well. Could have made an extra trick. Also a little sad we missed a game, but that's okay. Pass, pass, pass. We have 16. We'll open a no trump. Pass, pass, pass. Diamond lead. Hmm. Partner elected not to bid stamen. I mean, I understand it with a six count, but Certainly, if the clubs or diamonds were reversed, it would be an automatic two-club bid. Just pass whatever partner does. Not sure. Partner has three tens, a bunch of fitting honors. I might be tempted to just bid stamen. I don't know what I, what I would do over two diamonds. Maybe I bid two hearts, or maybe I bid two no. Anyway, four diamonds to the king. Ten of diamonds return. So, what do I want to pitch from dummy? I don't know why, but it feels like a spade is the natural discard. I mean, a club looks okay, but the fourth spade is very unlikely to take a trick ever. It, it will if there's like queen double ten of spades, but that's only if I bash down the ace king. All right, I'll throw a club. Maybe we get super lucky and everything just works. Jack of diamonds. Now I'm a bit scared of pitching a club because king clubs could easily be offside. I suppose now it's time to pitch a spade. Eight of diamonds. Yeah, it's looking like West probably has the ace of hearts, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Well, if I throw a club, They'll probably work out to exit a club, won't they? Um, if I pitch a spade from the dummy, the spades might block. I could pitch a spade from dummy and a heart from or a heart from dummy and a spade from hand. 
But what do I think about the spade queen? Because I could just pitch clubs from both hands. Is the queen of spades on side? East has turned up with just the king of diamonds so far in terms of high cards. West is a passed hand. They've turned up with the ace of hearts, the ace jack of diamonds. They could barely have the spade queen and not want to open an 11 count. Okay, here's the play. I pitch a club from dummy, the queen of hearts from hand. East must have the club king. And then I have a show up squeeze. That seems like the play to me. Okay, or the Queen of Spades is just on side, that works too. Oh, Queen of Spades was not on side, but the show up squeeze was gonna work. Look at that. We came to the right conclusion. Took a while. Pass, pass to us. We're in third seat. We could open a spade or a no trump. Both have kind of the same preemptive value. Well, preemptive value just doesn't matter in this style event. We know West is limited to 14 highs, but in general, I would like to make some sort of preemptive bid in fourth. So if we flip my hearts and spades, I think I would automatically open this a no trump. Um, that way I keep the opponents out of their spade fit, or make it harder for them to come in. But with the suits this way, I mean, one spade is fine. The question is just, do I want to convey extra strength somehow by opening a no trump? One of the difficulties with the robots is that they do not like puppet stamen. So if I open a no trump, we basically lose any chance of a 5-3 spade fit. And this hand kind of feels suit-oriented to me. It's not just the aces and kings, it's like the very, very strong spade suit means I don't have enough stoppers elsewhere. I think I'm going to open a no trump. I, I don't want to miss game if we could have it. And we might find a 5-3 heart fit that plays really well. Stamen, I will bid two spades. Partner bids two no, that's not exactly the bid I wanted to hear. Well, let's see, did we miss a spade fit? We did. Also, yeah, this isn't going to go well for us. The one spade opening is going to work out much better. It'll go a spade, maybe Drury, um, but four spades even has play, and two no trump might go down if they cash five, spy, five diamond tricks. We might only have seven off the top, depending on the club layout. Heart switch. I think I want to win the king and dummy and play spade to the 10. I, it looks like West is a little hesitant to continue diamonds. Interesting. That is an interesting turn of events. Hmm. Okay, you can have one more trick. <laughs> well, <laughs> There is some, some good news here. I think they can have one more trick. 
Maybe I should... Maybe there's some chance that West gets squeezed in the red suits? Hold on. I, I may as well play the hand out, right? There's no, no harm. We're on the lookout for all of the diamond cards. <clears throat> we'll take it. I mean, they didn't really get squeezed, but they pitched all of their hearts. Why East discarded all of their hearts is a mystery to me. Plus 240. We missed our slam. Sorry, partner. <laughs> I did upgrade my 14 count into a no-trump opener. How could you how could you not reach the slam after that? Well, that was wonderful. Alright, board 14, three boards to go in the set. No real good guess as to how we're doing. I mean, some of these, like board 11, we uh, we could have taken another trick, but we also didn't end up in game. Went down in four spades on board six when maybe we could have just played in a part score. That was unlucky. We do have a couple of good boards from the doubles. Let's open a diamond. Two clubs. Pass three clubs. Okay, I did my best. Partner really shouldn't have any stuff over there. Four of diamonds, seven. Try the jack. Partner never leads away from honors, so this also never works, but I think we may as well give it a try. Three, eight, queen, ace. Hmm. Well, what does that mean? Does that mean Declare is trying to strip the hand so I shouldn't return a diamond? I, I think that's what it looks like. So we'll play clubs. Okay, partner was not in on the joke. Declare is trying to strip the hand, partner, so that they can end play me into leading spades. Or not. Well, partner wasn't joking. They really were mostly broke, other than that the king of clubs. Hmm. Not much we could do differently on defense there. And two boards to go. We have 13. We'll open a diamond. Two spades, negative double, pass to us. I think we should just pass. We have two natural trump tricks. Maybe we should bid two no, though. Mm, this one's tough, because if partner has a game forcing hand, maybe three no trump is just going to do better because of the vulnerability. If partner's not game forcing, I'm very happy to just defend two spades doubled. We'll probably get 300 against it. So let's suppose partner has something like king, queen, fifth of hearts, king, queen, fourth of clubs, a stiff spade, and 
the ace of diamonds. How many tricks do we have in no trump? We have two spades, we have three clubs, two diamonds, and at least one heart. Three no probably has play, and we're gonna end up collecting two spades, a heart, two clubs, and two diamonds for 300. I feel like I should just pass. The opponents have their four spade tricks, but they're definitely not making this, and I don't know if we're making anything our way. All right, two spades doubled it is. Your lead part. That is not a trump. I do not like the fact that partner didn't lead trumps. Is this going to the ace? Really? That is awful. Club to the king. Seven, eight, king? Huh. Would partner really false card me? Because this should mean they're getting a club rough. Uh, so what's west shape? West is like four, six, two, one maybe? This is probably just cold. <laughs> I suppose this is one of these negative doubles that was, that's like a three heart bid, but not strong enough to bid three hearts. Let's take our two diamonds. Eight of diamonds return, yep. I mean, that has to be it, right? We get two more spades and declares just claiming. Well, that kind of sucks. <laughs> I don't really know what to do about that. Or is it the case that if, that if we just, if I won the 10 of diamonds, we were gonna beat it? because Declara can rough a heart, pitch one on the club queen, but that's all. So the fact that partner played back the eight of diamonds instead of the jack has led to the contract making. I don't know, I'm gonna try and pull trumps. Heart rough, queen of clubs. Queen of diamonds, beautiful. Queen of clubs, pitching a heart. Brilliant defense partner. At least we beat it a trick. Were we making anything? I suppose we were gonna end up in three hearts. Wow, I mean, this is a monstrous hand that partner just made a negative double with. Feels like a three heart bid to me, but maybe I'm crazy. So what do we make? We lose a spade, we lose a heart. We lose a club, probably. If we can time everything, I suppose we're making four hearts. All right, 
last board of the match. I mean, I'm happy we went plus. You know, I, I didn't, I don't know what would have happened if I bid two now. Partner bids three hearts. We would end up playing there. I, I suppose 140 is going to score better than whatever happened here. But the king of hearts lead, I think, is crazy. When you make this negative double and your partner passes, they expect you to lead trumps. Anyway, um, three clubs, pass, pass. I think I'm bidding three now. The other choice is to double, but I wonder if we play transfers over three now. That's maybe an important thing to know. I have no idea how the robots play. Because if we don't play transfers, it might be worthwhile to reopen double instead of three now. But if we do play transfers, we still have some chance of finding like a 6-3 heart fit. Or if partner's feeling ambitious, a 5-3 heart fit or something. Let's bid 3 now. This usually ends the auction. Diamond lead. Oh god. <laughs> this is not gonna go well. <laughs> I was hoping for like ace of clubs lead to take a look at dummy. And then at least the clubs are cut off. I might lose the first 13 tricks. <laughs> I could easily lose the first 13 tricks. Diamonds are 6-1, clubs are 7-1. Yeah, we're, we're in a lot of trouble. Oh, stiff king of clubs. Okay. A little strange that East didn't just run the diamonds before <laughs> switching to the Stiff King of Clubs, but um, all right, so we can pitch clubs now from hmm. What's my best chance at collecting seven tricks? So I have three hearts and the ace king of spades. East is turned up with, well, I'm not exactly sure. Maybe I can collect six tricks. I go ace king of spades and a spade if East has queen third. It doesn't look like my clubs are useful threats, so I can I can get rid of those. Heart switch is interesting. Okay. Queen doubleton with west. We'll take it. Minus 100. Were they making three clubs? That's an important question. Well, we do have the results of the first set at the very least. They have two heart losers and two spade losers and unfortunately a club loser. So they were not making three clubs. 